Hi guys, this is Shiva. Welcome to Trademark. Today let's talk about best indicators that works in the market. 90% of the traders or investors get confused to select the best indicators. Confused that which indicator works perfectly in the market. Confused that why we need indicators, why we need indicator help and how many indicators we need. For all these queries, 100% you will get answer in this video. I am promising that this video will make big aha moment in your trading career. Okay, let's start with basic. On 18th century, in Asia, the technical indicators were identified. On that period, they calculating price in a papers. Now we are in 21st century. So, we have lot of softwares are available. Let's see how technical indicators forms. In technical indicators, oscillators forms by using some mathematical formulas based on price and volume to forecast future price movement. Present, there are hundreds of types of technical oscillators are available. Each one have their own mathematical formula. There are two categories of indicators. First one, leading indicator. Second one, lagging indicator. Leading indicator means it's leading the price. Means before price action only, indicator will give signal that this may happen in next step. Means before price action, or before price confirmation or before candle confirmation only indicator will give signals lagging indicator means it gives signal after the price confirmation first of all why we need indicator help let's see because indicator helps us to identify momentum to identify trend to identify volatility to identify volume to identify breadth we know this is an uptrend we don't know how much strength in this uptrend so to identify the strength, we use indicators. Also, I said that before, in leading indicator, before price confirmation, the indicators will give signal. How it is possible? Before price confirmation means before candle confirmation. Okay, when price is moving higher tops and higher bottom, like this, but indicator making higher top with lower bottom, like this, that means price is moving towards upside without the strength. Without the strength, the price is moving towards upside, then indicator gives signal like this. Then we call this as a negative divergence. There are two types of divergence are there. First one positive divergence, second one negative divergence. Positive divergence means when price makes lower highs and lower lows, but the indicator making higher highs with higher lows, this type of structure is called positive divergence. Next. Similarly, in negative divergence, it becomes reverse. When price makes higher highs and higher lows, but indicator making lower highs with lower lows, like this means we call it as negative divergence. This is how positive and negative divergence were formed. Let's see the types of indicators. There are five types of indicators are available. First one, momentum indicator, trend indicator, volume indicator, volatility indicator, and last one is breadth indicator. Let's see how momentum works. Momentum is equal to speed. How would I know the stock is going speed or slow or medium? Just assume you are riding a car with the speed of 100 km per hour. How would you know you are going with the speed of 100 km per hour? Simple, just by watching speedometer. It tells us the car moving at the 100 speed. That means you are going fast. If you are going at the speed of 60 km per hour, that means you are going medium. Then if you are going at the speed of 30 km per hour, then you are going slowly. Similarly, we have oscillators to check speed of the stock movement. In this, there are two kinds of oscillators. First one, banded oscillator and non-banded oscillator. Banded means like uh, in speedometer, we have 0 to 100 range number. But in non-banded oscillator, there is no 0 to 100 range number, will not find. In banded oscillator, it can't move below zero level and also it can't move above 100 level. In non-banded oscillator, from center it moves positive and negative side, keeps on moving. For non-banded, another name is centered oscillator. Next one, trend indicators. Trend indicators used to identify which trend it is, which trend we are in. In stock market, as we know that there are three types of trends, uptrend, downtrend and sideways trend. Uptrend means higher top, higher bottom formation. Downtrend means lower top, lower bottom formation. 
in sideways same tops with same bottoms there is one famous quotation that is trend is your friend wait until it bends trend is your friend wait until it bends don't go against to the trend go with the flow and wait and wait until it breaks the trend very important thumb rule next one volume indicators volume indication is also very important one it says that number of shares that are being brought and sold over a time when price changes next volatility indicator volatility says that fluctuation of the market whether it is increasing or decreasing in the price next breadth indicators breadth says that that number of stocks are in positive and number of stocks that are in negative in nse india website we get this data like this advance and decline okay so far we learned how technical indicators forms next we learn about divergence after that we learn types of indicators and its uses next let's see how to select oscillator from this five indicators its conclusion time pay 100% attention these are all oscillators and these five are indicators this oscillator performs based on these five indicators only for example adx oscillator comes under trend indicator atr banded comes under volatility indicator stochastic comes under momentum indicator adx comes under trend indicator volume chart comes under volume indicator donchen channel comes under volatility indicator bullinger band comes under volatility indicator so on so far so these are all oscillators comes under this five indicators only in momentum indicator stochastic rsi relative strength index macd adi and some more xyz comes under momentum indicator in trend indicator moving average adx cpr arun and some more xyz comes under trend indicator in volume indicator volume chart volume profile volume index and some more xyz comes under volume indicator in volatility indicator donchen channel bullinger bands standard deviation atr and some more xyz comes under volatility indicator so we can avoid breadth indicator because we can check it in nse india website 90% of the traders and investors making same mistake applying stochastic rsi macd moving average xyz applying 10 to 20 oscillators then it looks like this it's look very complicated and no use because we can't understand anything from this you also doing same mistake means then you are on the wrong way so what we have to do from momentum indicator we will select one we will select one oscillator rest of them i will remove next from trend indicator i will select one oscillator rest of them i will remove next from volume indicator i will select one rest of them i will remove next from volatility indicator i will select one oscillator rest of them i will remove now it's look clean and clear now you get pop up in your mind it's very big aha moment it's very big aha moment for your trading journey okay now i think you don't need 10 to 20 oscillators in one chart i selected rsi simple moving average volume chart and bollinger band because i master in this four oscillators if i select macd rsi adx stochastic means these are all gives one indication that is momentum only just select one oscillator from momentum one from trend one from volume one from volatility and master it learn deeply in that learn deeply in that every oscillator will work 100% we just need to believe we just need to believe master in that no one can say that these are good oscillator these are bad oscillators and one more important point same indicators we will use in intraday swing and positional no changes in that so in further classes i will make a video on 
RSI, Bollinger Bands, Simple Moving Average and Volume until practice 100 charts a day. If you practice 100 charts, then every chart will speak, every candle will speak, every indicator will speak. If you just need to learn the language of the market, practice until it speaks to you. Keep on learning because learning never ends. Jai Hind!